Hello, my name is Ryan Page, and I'm Application Specialist for Techless Structures. Today in this video, we're going to discuss the addition of direct modification to the CMU tools, now available in the version 3.3 release. So let's just go ahead and jump right into a model and see what we're talking about. For those unfamiliar, direct modification is an editing mode that can be toggled on and off and is found at the bottom toolbar. Let's go ahead and place a masonry wall. With direct modification in version 3.3 of these tools, we can now directly interact with the wall's geometry and handles. Lengths and heights can be adjusted by changing the value displayed in the on-screen dimensions or by dragging the handles. Note that the handles will snap to the whole foot when zoomed out. Zooming in closer will provide snapping to the full inch or even a fraction of an inch, depending on how close you are. Direct modification also takes advantage of the contextual toolbar. Depending on what you're selecting, you have different options. For masonry walls, we can edit the wall's geometry, modify the bond beam properties, as well as edit our vertical reinforcement. We can also add openings, refresh the entire wall, as well as open up the properties dialog box for the CMU wall tool or the CMU wall opening tool. Also from the contextual toolbar, we can adjust basic settings of the overall wall, and we can choose course orientation, where end blocks are provided, as well as specify the mortar thickness. From the contextual toolbar, we also have direct access to the dialogs for the wall opening and wall tool itself. The wall opening tool allows you to now quickly insert an opening using applied settings. Adjusting the position of an opening is as simple as grabbing its node and moving it. Selecting an opening and then accessing the contextual menu brings opening-specific options. Users can adjust the lintel, as well as its material, name, class, and mortar spacing, as well as refresh the opening and open its dialog. The basic dimensions can be edited just as with wall geometry itself. Double-clicking on the opening still opens the dialog for additional features and settings. These improvements provide an excellent boost in modeling productivity. In addition to editing the wall geometry, there are other improvements with the addition of direct modification. Choosing the bond bead option at the top of the contextual toolbar allows users to adjust the configuration of the bond beam itself. This includes the block shape, material type, name, and class of the bond beam blocks. But the best part is the ability to dynamically add bomb beam rows or remove them by selecting the node and hitting the delete key on your keyboard. Keep in mind that you must have the bomb beam icon selected in the contextual toolbar to see these options appear. Lastly, as well as with the bond beams, the ability to adjust reinforcement has also benefited from the addition of direct modification. To make things more clear while demonstrating, I'll hit shift 2 on my keyboard to go ahead and turn our blocks transparent. Alternatively, you can use a representation filter, as shown on screen, to turn the block, say, 90% transparent, making the bar more visible. Users can adjust spacing of vertical bars using the on-screen dimensions shown, which is similar to how the wall geometry is edited. Keep in mind, if you use a single value to populate the rebar spacing, then only one dimension string will be available, and your edit will value will be applied to all bars. Conversely, you can populate the reinforcement in the dialog by providing a specific spacing string. And when using direct modifications, users will be able to adjust the values of the individual spaces. Lastly, users now have the ability to drag the vertical reinforcement into position as they see fit. This concludes our overview of direct modifications as added in the CMU Tools version 3.3. Thank you for watching. Users can find version 3.3 of the CMU Tools in the Tecla Structures Warehouse. Simply visit www.warehouse.tecla.com, log in with your Trimble ID, and search CMU. Make sure to download the latest version, which is 3.3. For more information on this or other topics, make sure to visit our Tecla User Assistance webpage for product guides, support articles, tutorials, and more.